Today, we are experiencing a real boom in artificial intelligence and technology. This leads many scientists and engineers to consider the emergence of universal humanoid robots as the next logical step. And indeed, machine vision is already approaching human vision, and in a number of scenarios, it's vastly superior. Clever robotic hands can act and feel no worse than human hands. Robots on legs perform at the level of gymnasts, and artificial intelligence can defeat people in Go and Dota, exclusively human games. It would seem that all of this is ready to combine together. And when it does, what happens? Let's talk about that today. It's a fact, many robotics teams are working on human-like robots right now, each of them developing their own design, but more or less repeating the structure of the human body and adding a number of skills to their robots. But there's not been much progress. And then Elon Musk comes on stage and says that in two years, he can create a versatile, functional humanoid robot that can go to the store for you, buy your products, or do a little maintenance on electric cars. Many have taken this as a joke or a publicity stunt, but Musk claims that they are all very wrong. I was surprised that people did not realize the scale of the program of Robots Optimus, said Musk at a press conference. The importance of Optimus will become evident in the coming years. Those who are discerning or listening attentively will realize that Optimus will eventually cost more than the automotive business, more than the FSD. Additionally, on September 30th, during the next Tesla AI Day event, the working first prototype of the robot Optimus will be shown. What will this robot look in reality? What will the technology be like that Tesla helps create? And how all of it will work according to Musk in today's episode. Let's start with the most interesting part. Why did Elon Musk decide to focus on the production of humanoid robots? The answer is simple. Musk always looks to the future as he sees it. When he creates SpaceX, he already represents the colonies on Mars. For him, the future of mankind is self-governing cars, interplanetary rockets and interfaces, and brain machines expanding our capabilities as humans. This is a world where technology is the savior of humanity, and in the future, energy will be cheap, affordable, and sustainable. Humans will work in harmony with intelligent machines and even merge with them, and we will become an interplanetary species. Musk imagines that humans will eventually surpass our evolutionary heritage with technologies that transcend human or even superhuman capabilities. But before technology can become superhuman, it must become human, or at least be designed to thrive in a man-made world. To do this, Musk develops very specific, basic, interconnected areas of technology. Things like sensors, actuators, energy and data infrastructure, system integration, and significant progress in computing power. Together, they provide a set of tools for his vision of the future. So what kind of robot is Elon Musk planning to build? The humanoid robot called Optimus, or Optimus Subprime, as Elon jokingly calls it during an interview, has now become Tesla's top priority project and should become more significant in the future than the automotive business. According to the concept, the robot should be 172 centimeters tall and have a mass of 57 kilograms, which roughly corresponds to the human parameters of the average person. Engineers plan to achieve this growth to mass ratio by using innovative lightweight and durable materials. It's also possible to assume that developers, like Boston Dynamics Atlas Robot, will have to design many elements of the design from scratch, taking into account their 3D printing on a 3D printer. We've already explained how Atlas was created, and the elements of its hydraulic actuators, and how elements of its hydraulic actuators were incorporated into the design of the printed foot parts to minimize the weight of the robot, and you can see that issue by following the link right here in the hint. Optimus should be maximally similar to the person, including hands with five fingers. The engineers estimated that 40 electromechanical actuators would be enough for the robot joints to move. They will be sensitive to the efforts being made to achieve balance and to move quickly and clearly. By the way, the robot will move at speeds of 8 km per hour, which is quite a lot for a humanoid in an unstructured human environment. And by doing this, Musk promises to limit the robot's capabilities so that man could run away from him and even win in a fight. But the robot will not be weak, otherwise its functionality is lost. Optimus will be able to lift a weight of 5 kilograms on the extended hand, and with both hands carry a load of 20 kilograms. 
and lift an object of 68 kilograms. The head of the robot will include a large screen to display information, and it will be possible to communicate with it in a natural language, giving commands by voice. At the same time, the robot will be so smart that step-by-step -step instructions won't be needed. It will be smart enough to hear the command and do the task. In order for the Tesla robot to feel the environment, the robot's head will be equipped with the same autopilot cameras that are built into Tesla cars. The robot's perception will be the same as that of electric cars, and this is a three-dimensional vector space that's created as the environment is perceived through eight chambers. These eight channels are adjusted and then merged into a single virtual model of environmental prediction, which gives computers an auto vision of the world in which it travels from a bird's eye perspective. It's kind of a three-dimensional recreation of a local space in Tron style. These bots will run through a computer interface of full Tesla self-driving, the same as the Tesla Model 3, X, S, Y, and Roadster. The humanoid artificial intelligence will draw on Tesla's experience in the field of neural networks for cars in the advanced supercomputer company Dojo. With Dojo Electric Cars, companies are able to recognize the surroundings, understand the voice commands, and make decisions needed to achieve their goals. But moreover, Dojo allows cars to continuously improve their behaviors to minimize the chance of error. Whether advanced processors will help do the same humanoid robot is still a big question. The robot's brain will be enclosed in a fully autonomous computer, and its control will be decentralized for greater security of both the client and its personal data. It's also worth noting, these robots can't be transformed into a single army of bots. Optimus will use video neural network, video network planning, neural network planning, labeling, modeling, and other tools to help it perform everyday tasks efficiently. Musk recently stated on Twitter that Tesla can go even further and focus on common artificial intelligence or AGI. A quote from Musk said, Tesla artificial intelligence can play a role in AGI given that it trains against the outside world, especially with the advent of Optimus. Musk, on the other hand, stated in a presentation that the robot would never receive common AI to avoid endangering humanity. Tesla and SpaceX have complicated the relationship with artificial intelligence. Musk was the co-founder and main sponsor of OpenAI, a nonprofit research group on artificial intelligence, which aims to ensure that AI benefits all of mankind. In 2018, he resigned from his position in the group, citing a potential conflict of interest with Tesla's own efforts at artificial intelligence. A number of experts believe that Musk ultimately wants to turn Tesla into an AI and robotic company, and he only needs machines to make money for the business. But how real is this? This is a very, very big question. Let's not talk here about the possibility of creating a common artificial intelligence, which we've discussed in detail in the release you can find here at The Hint. Let's focus on robots. Despite the optimistic market outlook, which is growing steadily, robotic companies don't seem to be thriving as they expected at launch. In 2018, Rodney Brooks founded the well-known robotic company Rethink Robotics, which went bankrupt due to a lack of funds. A year later, Anki, a robotics company based in San Francisco, was forced to close after nine years due to bankruptcy. Soon after, Jibo of MIT was very popular for its exceptional homemade robot, which went belly up, even raising more than $70 million in investments. Google sold Boston Dynamics because the company cost $50 million a year but didn't generate any revenue. Then SoftBank got rid of the developers of the Robot Atlas, as it realized it could not earn money from them. However, Musk is able to make money on his dreams as well as to captivate investors with his ideas. In addition, it's possible that because robots are now actively involved in space research, the creation of TeslaBot may also be related to plans to conquer Mars, and thus SpaceX might be involved in the future development, although not before Starship is started and regular runs are set up. Given Musk's mood and superpower to create innovation, experts assume that we will definitely see Optimus, and it's likely that after spending enough money, Tesla will be able to create a humanoid robot with batteries, drives, and computers similar to the one that Musk described. But can Tesla do it by next year? As Musk says, of course, why not? But the hard part isn't building the robot, it's getting the robot to actually do what you want it to. In fact, robots can already navigate the world without clear instructions when they have a pretty good idea of what this world consists of. If the world is roads or apartments or this particular shopping center, the problem is solved by 95% already, although the remaining 5% can be incredibly complicated. But if you want to send a robot to a nearby store, then the store itself and the road from the house to it 
For the bot, it's an unpredictable challenge. Are there stairs and heavy doors? Passages and crowds of people? Will the robot be able to deal with unexpected circumstances and respond to everything that's going on around it? Is it safe for humans and the robot itself? Vita, even at the price of $10,000, promised by Musk is a pretty expensive gadget to risk. No one in the world has yet managed to resolve these issues. And here, Tesla bot could face the same fate as Honda's Asimo. It could be nothing but a beautiful demonstration forever. What do you think? Let us know down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and don't miss any new episodes from the world of robotics and high tech.